So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. We got some more snow last night. I've been uh, plowing this morning. I'm almost done with that. But before we get started in today's video, we need to settle a little score. Uh, the other day I had the Bronco down here by the wood yard and the Jeep, and we climbed up over this bank here, and the Bronco did way better. It just did. And a lot of people said it's because I took the Jeep first, kind of broke the trail for the Bronco, I think it all just has to do with the tires and the tires on the Bronco I think are better for snow but anyway to settle that score we're bringing the Bronco down first and then we'll go back up and get the Jeep and bring it down now since the last time we tried this we probably got about a half inch of ice about an inch of sleet and then uh, about five or six more inches of snow but some had melted off because we had rain before that it's just a whole mess but anyway, let's get this out of the way. Well, that really didn't prove anything because they both made it up. However, I do think the Bronco went up a little easier, even though it went up first. So next up, I'm just going to finish up this uh, little bit of parking lot right here, get some more snow pushed in the pile there, and then I think we're going to head down to the wood yard. I will have to go down there and clean some more snow up, uh, but we're going to run the excavator and the split fire splitter later on today, along with the uh, Wolf Ridge. We're going to make some firewood. I got this all uh, plowed up there a couple hours ago and then I had to run out for a bit but as you can see it's actually trying to melt off a little bit it's only about 17 degrees but uh, we had some pretty good sunshine there earlier that part of the driveway down there it's still pretty slick though I think next up I'm gonna head down to the uh, wood yard and hop on the excavator maybe cut up some big rounds and uh, split them with the uh, split fire all right, Melissa just came out. A lot of people have been asking about Mike's orange sweatshirt. Where'd you get it? Are you going to get some? Guess what? We're just into February and I finally got my delivery of the famous, same kind, orange, quali good quality sweatshirt. They're Carhartt. Yep. You can get the wood round. It'll be on the front. Sasquatch will be on the back and it'll be listed on our website. The only difference between mine and uh, what you will get Oh, yeah. She has a new font here. I just capitalized the letters. Yeah, this is... So the, this was small. I made them capitalized. So we'll call this original. This will be the new one here. Yeah. So these hoodies, that orangish color, they're not real bright orange, but... Uh, it's called burnt. burnt it's called orange. burnt orange? Yeah. All right. So these will be on the website. This will be on the front. That's right. This will be on the back. That's right. And you've got the sand color 
T-shirts, gray and white. Yes. Bunch of stuff on the website. We're going to get some more stuff the, as well. What Mike's saying, you can get these sweatshirt, these shirts in this sand color or gray color or white color. So this is a sponsored video today. It's sponsored by Melissa's Sweatshop. Yeah, I, I have a potential investor. Yeah, like on Shark Tank. So we'll see. He's a tough guy. Thinks he knows a lot about the shirt business or maybe just investing. But, um... Yeah, well, he is letting me use Outdoors with the Morgan, so we might do some talk, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, so I think the only other option I'd like to give you is if you'd like this on the front and this one on the back. So there'll be two listings. Okay, that keeps it simple. Yeah. How about this uh, weather? I mean, it's, it's, it's seven, beautiful. But it's 17 degrees. I know. Snows every day. It's beautiful. It's it is. beautiful to see the sun come up this morning, and there was just ice on and snow on the trees. I was taking pictures everywhere. It's really pretty, but yeah, you have to be very careful. You don't want to fall, break a hip. You don't want to slide and slip into anything, yeah. smash something up. You know, <sighs> yeah, that'd ruin your day. That would. But this is going to brighten your day. Go to outdoorswithmorgans.com. Get yourself that orange sweatshirt, and we only <laughs> we only have a limited quantity because you know I only had so much of a budget to work with, but. I got some, and here's the thing. We wanted to give them to you now, or this option now, so you could buy them for that special someone for Valentine's Day, which is coming up. Did you know that? All right. Well, I am going to uh, head down to the wood yard. Okay, I'm going to head back inside to the presses. All right. Well, as you can see, I had a little uh, breakdown there. Broke my rope. I should be able to get it going, but I need to fix that right. fingers <laughs> well I think I might just go to the house and uh, hold down the couch for a little bit that would be just about as productive as what I got going on here this afternoon I uh, broke my pool rope I just uh, tore it apart there, tied it back together enough to get it started. And I went to engage the uh, conveyor, and I was kind of afraid of this. It is completely froze up. We had all that freezing rain and all that sleet. I just brushed some of this snow off right here, and that chain is not moving anywhere. So really... I think my best bet is to wait until tomorrow. I think it's supposed to get up to about 38 degrees. But that's the thing. The entire thing is frozen solid all the way up, 24 feet long. It's not going anywhere. I had just uh, used the excavator here to kind of stir these all up a little bit. They are all frozen solid as well. These are those big rounds that I split the other day with the uh, split fire splitter there. I got this big log right here I can cut up, uh, three or four more right there. But there's a pile of wood right here. Just not the day to do it. I think I'm going to regroup and uh, try this again tomorrow. If it does warm up some, I don't know how to thaw that out, really. I think the best way is to uh, let Mother Nature deal with it, to be honest with you. There's probably, I don't even know, there's like an inch and a half, two inches of ice on that whole thing right there between the freezing rain and the sleet so uh it's not going anywhere 
Oh, and before I forget, I wanted to mention, I've been seeing comments again from people saying they are unsubscribed from our channel, and they did not do that. For some reason, YouTube does that once in a while. I'm not sure why or how that all works. But if you are a subscriber, double check and make sure you are and click that little bell icon. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. Well, since I can't split any wood, I'll give you a few updates on the building while I'm thinking of it. Uh, Plumber Jim was going to come up this morning. Today is Saturday. I actually called him last night and canceled. It's just, uh, it was like six degrees this morning. I said, let's just wait till next weekend. Maybe it'll be a little warmer because there's no heat in the building yet. Which brings me to my next topic. A lot of people have been asking when I'm going to get the boiler installed and get that radiant floor heat going. Well, I need to wait until the insulation's done. And that will be after the wiring and the plumbing, then the insulation. I think Tuesday, weather permitting, I'm going to go pick up all the uh, tongue and groove white pine that will go inside and also order all the metal for the ceiling, wainscoting, roof over the kitchen, all that. Things will start coming together here pretty soon, but uh, there's not much for me to do in there right now until, like I say, we get the plumbing, wiring, and insulation, and then there will be plenty to do after that point. But uh, that's the update on the building. Everything just takes time. It does. And uh, even if you're inside, this time of year, it's just hard to get anything done. I mentioned before, you know, we don't normally get this much snow or this much, this cold temperatures as we have in the last month or so. Uh, but it's been piling up around here. We had that rain the other day. I thought, oh, it's going to beat that snow back. And boy, it just snowed the last couple of days. We're right back to where we started. It's kind of nice. You're not in the mud, but uh, the way I see it, we've got what? It's February. We've got another month of this, and it's going to start warming up. We can get, you know, big storms in March. We've had them before, but we've got about four more weeks, and uh, things will start turning around. But I did that one video a couple weeks ago, spinning my wheels. That's pretty much all you do this time of year, but I do try to just keep moving forward. But anyway, since we're not splitting wood, that's the bad news. The good news is I uh, have a bunch more of your tractor pictures to show, so we'll do that right now.
gets it for today's video. I appreciate you all being here. And like always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. Nice.